Today we're looking at this RK8985% wireless mechanical keyboard from Royal Clutch. The box itself is orange and black, otherwise it's very generic. There isn't any specifics about the keyboard, any features, anything at all on the box. What really tells us what it is other than a keyboard. Again, if you're ordering this online, not a big issue, but if you're going into a retail store or you're wanting to sell this in a retail store, no one's going to know really what's in the box. So inside the box, we had a keyboard, which came inside of a plastic bag. We've also got the manual, which came in the same plastic bag as the keyboard. You've got a switch and key remover in one, so that's nice and handy. You've got some spare switches as well. Would have been nice to have some nice spare caps as well, but I suppose it's quite hard to do that because they're all slightly different. And also you've got a USB cable, which is USB type A on one end, and USB type C on the other. Each item came in individual bags. So let's have a look at the keyboard, but first of all, the cable. So as we said, USB 2 on one side, USB type C on the other. It's just a white sort of rubberized cable. It does have a, like a Velcro strap on it for cable tied in, and it's 1.8 meters long, so it should be long enough for most things. Because this keyboard is basically got a triple mode wireless keyboard, it's not actually triple mode wireless, it's more like double mode wireless plus cable. It's because you can plug it in with the cable to use it via a cable, like a traditional cabled keyboard. You do have a dongle in there, so like a lot of wireless keyboards, or you can use it on Bluetooth mode. So that's three ways of doing it, but only two of them are wireless, even though it says in the documentation it's triple mode wireless. So sort of could get confusing. So as you can see from the, the layout here, there is a few keys missing. This is an 89 key layout rather than your traditional 100 plus keys. Now what's different about this keyboard, which is slightly different, usually they get rid of the number pad on the side and just leave you with the arrow keys. Well this time this has got rid of some of the buttons you would get down the center like home and delete and end and page up and down and so forth they're not there anymore and they've combined the number keys with the up and down left right arrows there so it is a slightly strange layout compared to what most people like also it's not rgb it's just blue black lit so as you can see it lights up looks good on the white keyboard you do have other color combinations that are available as well including a black keyboard and you've got three different switches to choose from between blue brown and red but otherwise as you can see it looks pretty good you've got the logo there you've got little lights that tells you when the cap's locked on and stuff like that so this keyboard the switches as well as the keycaps can be replaced the tool that comes with is very simple to use you just basically spread it like that put it over a key and it clips on and then you just pull up and away you go it comes out and if you want to take the actual switch out itself you just get the other end of it as you can see there it's like a claw you get it to the top and bottom of the switch and then you just give it a good pull up and it will pop out and there you go so it's hot swappable so you can swap those around if you prefer different let's say switches on different keys you can put different switches on different keys if you wanted you want it all brown you want it all red you want to change it with something else totally up to you and the same with the keycaps you want to have different colors you can do that as well so color options are very limited because obviously it's blue only but you can change the effects by holding down the function key and the key here which will change obviously it to strobe strobe the other way as you can see there's a few different options there it'll also light up the keys you're touching on and so forth all lit sort of a snake mode and if you keep going through, there are quite a few different options there. There's even ones what just highlight W, A, S, and D, like that, for example. Or you can just have the logo at the top or fading in and out. There's quite a few different options you can go for. You can also change the brightness using the function key and the up and down arrow as well. So all the way off and all the way on. Bear in mind, you will find, obviously, the battery will last a lot longer if you have the LED lights off. So depending on how you actually want the keyboard to physically look, you do actually have two options. You can actually remove the frame. It's not easy. You do have to sort of pull up and push down at the same time, or at least that's the easiest way I found it. So you sort of push down on like the number nine key, and then pull up on the side, and it does then allow you to peel it off. There you go, like that. So depending on how you want it to look, more of a 
basic look so you can see underneath the keys or you want it more of a sophisticated look or however you want to put it you can choose either way the back of the keyboard is very straightforward you've got usb type c connection there that's so you can charge it or run it off the cable depending on which you prefer you also have two standard usb a ports there so you can plug in traditional things like memory sticks and even your mouse or whatever in there and it works as a usb hub so that basically gives you more connections on the bottom you've got an on and off switch and you've also got a switch which changes between bluetooth and the wireless receiver talking about the wireless receiver it's here in the bottom of the keyboard so that makes it easy to transport so you just peel it out it is a magnetic part so it does sort of flip back in and stays in there which is good obviously you need to plug that into your pc or laptop if you're wanting to use a receiver otherwise you need to use obviously the bluetooth or the cable you do have four feet so two on the front two on the back there they are rubberized or silicon one or the other but it basically stops them slipping now you've got two step adjustables at the back so you've got basically got foot number one there which again is rubberized on the end to stop it slipping and then you've got foot number two which again is rubberized as well which will then allow the keyboard to have a bit of a tilt if you prefer a, curve, a keyboard what has got a bit of a tilt on it okay so we're going to do a sound test now so my voice will sound a little bit different because it's unedited so you can hear exactly what the keyboard sounds like this is a microphone here exactly 20 centimeters from the top row of keys i'm going to tap some of the main keys first so you get a rough idea what it sounds like and then do a sentence or two so the standard keys Space bar in the centre, space bar on the right hand side, space bar on the left hand side, the enter key in the centre, the enter key on the right, on the left, shift key in the centre, on the right, and the left, the number pad, and a normal sentence. Okay, to the software. Well, what there is of it, it is very basic, it's very clunky, and it's obviously been designed by a hardware engineer rather than a software engineer. Other than obviously downloading it from the website, you actually it's actually a link what takes you to a Google Drive and then you download it, install it, and you have to plug the keyboard in with the cable for you to be able to use the software. So when you go first install, it comes to this screen, it says connected devices, you click your device, which is that one, and this is all you get. So you'd basically click on the letter you want, let's say you'd letter G, and then you choose which characters or numbers or symbols functions you want it to do that is it and then you can change the profile so between one two three and the only other options on there is plus so that's for creating a new profile that's for deleting a profile that's for editing a profile one for importing and exporting a profile that's it there's no rgb lighting there's no settings changing anything like that or if there is the hiding it i can't see any anywhere but that's it for the software other than that for the conclusion it's a very capable keyboard it does everything you want it has got a slightly different design than most especially the way the number pad and the arrow keys are sort of joined together but again i can't see really anything wrong with this it's one of those things down to preference preference but you have got lots of options on here you can use bluetooth you can use the wireless dongle you can use it with a, a cable it's a usb hub you can get rid of the frame or have the frame on it's got tilt options on there as well you can change your key couch, you can change the switches even. It's pretty much totally customizable near enough for probably 98% of your switches and key caps out of there. So I haven't really got much of a complaint to be honest. Probably the only slight thing, and that's really down to the person, is there's no RGB on it. It's just blue lighting, but they do have other keyboards in the range which do have that facility. So again, totally up to you if you want to go for this keyboard or not, but I would recommend it for a keyboard it is very good for what it is and for the price